In this video, we're going to be looking at properties of powers. First thing we need to know is what exactly is a power. Now, a power is any statement that, ha that consists of some base, which is a real number like 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Some base that's, and the second part here is we're going to be multiplying it by itself a number of times. The number of times that it's multiplied is called its exponent, okay? That's called our exponent. And when we have the base to an exponent, the entire piece is called a power, okay? So when we're talking about powers, we've got a base and we have an exponent. So if we had something like two cubed, here two is the base and three is our exponent. Two to the third, which is what we call it, is that power, okay? So looking at properties of powers, the first property that we have here, property number one, is what's known as a product of two powers. Now, something to notice here is we've got a to the m power times a to the n power. When you have the same base and you're multiplying, we can simply take and add our exponents together. So this becomes a to the m plus n power. Now, in property number two, we've got a to the m to the nth power. This is known as a power of powers. n is the power acting on the power that already exists of a to the m. When you have a situation like this, what we're going to do is take and multiply our exponents together. So this becomes a to the m times n power. When we have a multiplication here in our third situation, now we have a multiplication raised to a power. This is the power of a product, not to be confused with the product of two powers. Product of powers is where we're multiplying two powers together. When we have the power of a product, it's a product that's being taken to one power. Okay? So slightly, uh, you know, very similar in the wording, but very different consequence. When we have the product here raised to a similar power, what we're going to do is simply distribute that exponent to our two bases. So this becomes a to the m times b to the m. And finally, in this first row here, property number four, we have a zero exponent property, and anytime a, our base, is raised to the zero product, it, to the zero exponent, it's going to be one as long as, you know, just given that a does not equal zero, okay? So there are our first four. Looking to the next side of the board, properties five, six, and seven, okay? Now, when we have a, the base, to a negative exponent, the negative exponent power uh, property says that we will take and make this one divided by a to the m power. Okay, so negative exponents means that we have the reciprocal of what we see, or one divided by a to now that positive power. This kind of leads into property number six, the uh, quotient of powers which says if we've got a base a to the m divided by a base a to the n, what happens here is we can subtract our two exponents, m minus n, and make it a to the m minus n power. Okay? This is very similar to our product property. Okay? This is very similar to the product property. Here, when we have a product of two powers, we took an added, well, the opposite of multiplication is division. So when we divide two powers with the same base, we can take and subtract the exponents and keep that base the same. Seventh property here is the power of a quotient. Okay, so here we have a quotient A divided by B, uh, and it's all raised to the M power, and this simply becomes A to the M divided by B. To the end. So those are our properties of powers.